Hello, hello, yoga friends. Welcome back to another flow with me, Amy. If you've not practiced with me before, then thank you for being here. And if you are one of the wonderful people who is here all the time, then thank you so much for being here again. This is going to be a short but spicy little power flow. I'm gonna throw in a few handstands or at least attempts at handstands, some funky stuff. It's gonna get you sweating in a short amount of time. Just before we start, just to say, if you do enjoy this video, then please give it a big thumbs up. Um, you can comment with any requests or suggestions and of course, don't forget to subscribe so that you never miss a class with me. Without further ado, we will begin standing in a forward fold at the top of the mat. So getting straight into the body today, you can bend the knees as much as feels good for you, letting gravity draw the torso down towards the earth. Send the breath into the backs of the legs, the lower back, the upper back, the neck, the entire body being stretched before we strengthen it in this class. Connect to your breath here in your forward fold, sending deep breaths into the belly. Maybe you feel it pressing against the thighs as you breathe in. start to bring some movement into the body, bending and straightening one leg at a time, really intensifying the stretch in the back of the, each leg as you move from side to side. On your next breath in, press the fingertips into the earth, maybe bring the hands to the shins, coming up to a flat back, and exhale, release back down into your forward fold. Deep breath in, halfway lift, deep breath out, release. One more time, inhale, add Uttanasana, exhale, Uttanasana. Bend the knees deeply, come all the way up to standing with a straight, long spine, reach the fingertips all the way up overhead. Exhale, take a side bend, sliding the right hand down the right leg, left hand reaches up and over. Deep breath in, reach both arms up. Deep breath out, take that stretch over to the other side. Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, cactus the arms. Deep breath in, reach for the sky. Deep breath out, send the right arm back, left arm forward, coming into a twist. Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, twist over to the other side. Fill the lungs, reach the arms up and empty the lungs, bend the knees, come back into a fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, release. Bend the knees, deep breath in, reach the arms all the way up, deep breath out, cactus. Inhale, sweep the arms high, exhale, descend down over the legs. One more time, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, release. Bend the knees, fill the lungs, reach the fingertips tall and empty the lungs as you draw the elbows down towards the ribs. Fill the lungs, reach the fingertips high, stretch through both sides of the waist and release as you exhale, coming into a fold. This time inhale, come up to a flat back and exhale, plant the hands on the earth, step one foot at a time back to your plank connecting to our core and building some fire straight away. Start to rock backwards and forwards on your tiptoes. Finding a nice, strong, solid core here. Not letting the belly and the hips collapse down towards the floor and not letting them round up towards the sky. Finding that nice, sweet spot of engagement. Rock for five, four, three, two, 
one and then either stay in your traditional plank or come onto the tops of the feet little extra challenge here really press the earth away with the tops of the feet and then everyone lower yourself all the way down onto your belly lift the hands off the mat for just a second place them back down and then either with the toes tucked or the tops of the feet flat press yourself all the way back into a plank Let's do that three more times. Lower all the way down, full release, lift the hands, place the hands back down, press yourself back up. Lowering down, release, and then press back up in one solid, strong line, not leaving any part of the body behind. One more time, lower yourself down all the way to the belly, release the hands, and then press yourself all the way back up to plank, maybe you're on the tops of the toes, and then either untuck the toes or roll yourself over them, coming back into a downward facing dog. Start to bend and straighten one leg at a time, just like we did in our fold. And then bring the heels down in the direction of the earth, drop the elbows down onto the mat, dolphin pose. Inhale, sweep the right leg high for a three-legged dolphin. Exhale, rock your way forward, lift the elbows off the mat, tap the right knee to the right elbow. Inhale, sweep that leg high, drop the elbows down. Exhale, lift the elbows, tap that right knee forwards. One more time, three-legged dolphin and exhale, knee to elbow, draw the knee to the nose and then step that foot through in between the hands. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up to the sky, high crescent lunge and then come up onto the right tiptoes for a, a tiptoe lunge. I don't think there's a name for this. <laughs> maybe still on the tiptoes, start to hinge the upper body forwards at an angle for a power lunge. And then again, maybe still on the tiptoes, launch yourself forwards into, don't have the space, into a warrior three, but on the tiptoes, whoop, you might bring the fingertips to the mat for support. You might reach them straight out in front. You might bring them to heart center. Big, big challenge here, warrior three, with the heel lifted off the mat, drop that heel down and pulse on that leg for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Maybe come back onto the tiptoes as you sweep the left leg all the way through into standing staff pose, pointing those toes straight to the front of the mat and then drop that heel down as you bend into the right knee, come down into a pistol squat. Sweep the left toes out behind, bring the fingertips to the mat, come into a standing split with the left toes reaching all the way up to the sky, and then take five kicks up to handstand, or anywhere near it for that matter. You might not be successful, you might get a few seconds upside down, got one more attempt for me and after your last attempt drop the right toes all the way to the back of the mat sweep the left toes high landing in a three-legged dog drop the left toes down to meet the right have another little wiggle reconnect to your breath if you lost it <sighs> drop the elbows down onto the mat once again Inhale, sweep the left toes high. Exhale, lift the elbows. Tap that left knee to the left elbow. Inhale, three-legged dolphin. Exhale, knee to elbow. One more time. Deep breath in, three-legged dolphin. Exhale, tap that knee to the elbow. Draw it into the nose. And then step that foot through in between the hands. Deep breath in, reach both arms all the way up to the sky and then lift the left heel to hover off the mat. Hinge the body forwards at a 45 degree angle and then maybe with that heel lifted, you launch yourself into a warrior three, balancing on your tiptoes. Big, big, big challenge here. You might be falling out all over the place. 
so am I, we're all in it together. Drop that heel down, take 10 little pulses on that left knee, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, I'm wishing I said 5, 4, 3, 2, my leg's burning, 1, come back onto the tiptoes maybe as you sweep the right toes through towards the front of the room for a standing staff with the left heel lifted, Oop. and then drop that heel as you bend into that left knee, come down for a pistol squat. Sweep the right toes behind you, sweep them up to the sky for a standing split, and then bring the hands onto the earth, take five kicks up to handstand. Once you've done your five, drop the left toes all the way to the back of the mat for a three-legged dog and then drop that right foot to meet the left. Drop the forearms down for dolphin, press back up to dog. Dolphin, dog, dolphin, dog. Keep flowing between the two. For five, four, three, two, one, lift the elbows, rock your way forwards into a plank and once again bring the tops of the feet down onto the mat. Either stay here or come up onto the right fingertips, place them back down. Come up onto the left fingertips, place them back down. Come up onto the right fingertips, then lift the right hand to hover, reach the right fingertips towards the back of the room, bring them back down. Come up onto the left fingertips, bring left hand to hover, reach it back, Woo. place it back down and then once again lower all the way down, dead stop, lift the hands and keeping the tops of the feet on the floor, press yourself back up. Two more, lowering down, releasing everything, pressing it all the way back up, one more time, you have got this, release, press yourself all the way back up and then roll yourself over back to a downward facing dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Walk the hands and the feet just a little bit closer together. Bring the big toes to touch, bring the knees to touch, bend deeply into the knees and take five attempts at bunny hops. Maybe you hold your bunny hop Maybe you hop just a centimetre off the earth. Maybe you make it all the way up into a handstand. Just taking five attempts of whatever this looks like for you. I've got one more. And then once you've done your five bunny hops, come back to your downward facing dog, come up onto the toes, bend the knees, and then jump the legs through to a seated position. Or just come and sit if the jump through doesn't work for you. And then straight away, getting into our car, come into boat pose, either with the legs bent or straight, tap the toes one at a time to the mat. Tap right, tap left, right, left, keep it flowing. Knees can be coming back to bent or straightening the leg each time. Five, four, three, two, one. Come back to boat pose. Take it down to a low boat. Boat pose, low boat, boat pose, low boat and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Release. Drop yourself all the way down onto your back. And just take a moment here. Take a deep breath in. One last little push for our core. Stamp the feet on the earth. Shimmy the thumbs so they're underneath your glutes. And then start to lift the legs up towards the sky. Start to lower the legs down slowly, slowly, slowly until they come to hover above the earth 
and then lift them all the way back up to the sky. Lower them down, hover, hold for an extra breath with the feet hovering off the earth, lift them back up to the sky. One more time, lower them down, hover, hold, and then hug the knees into the chest. Give yourself a nice big squeeze. As you can tell, I'm very out of breath. It's very hard to speak while doing that kind of thing. <laughs> I mean, it's just very hard to do it anyway, but especially to speak. Short and sweet little power. Let's wind it down with a few little stretches. Keep the grip on the right leg, either around the back of the thigh or around the shin, and cross the left ankle over the top of the right leg. Start to draw the right knee in towards you as you push the left knee away from you keeping both feet flexed and active, keeping the hips and the shoulders rooting down onto the earth. Release the grip on that leg. Let the left leg carry on wrapping around the right and then drop both knees over to the right hand side coming into an eagle twist, Garudasana. This twist doesn't feel good in your body. You can take any version of a twist that you fancy. Unravel yourself come back through centre, grab hold of the left leg, either behind the thigh or around the shin, cross the right ankle over the top of the left knee, coming into Supta Ekapada Rajakapatasana, which simply means reclined pigeon pose. let go of that leg, let the right leg carry on wrapping around the left, drop the knees over to the left hand side, keep the shoulders softening down into the earth. Unravel, give yourself one final nice big squeeze and then let the legs drop into any shape that is calling to you just for a few minutes in Shavasana, either a Supta Baddha Konasana or the classic Shavasana shape or maybe a constructive rest with the feet on the outside edges and the knees dropping in. We'll just take 10 breaths here in our Shavasana, letting the benefits of our practice distribute throughout the entire body letting the breath settle, letting the mind settle. Once you've taken your 10 breaths, you are very welcome to stay in Shavasana for even longer. Or if you are ready to move on from your practice, just start to bring some gentle movements back to the body. 
Take a moment to listen to what your body is asking for right now. And then slowly make your way up to any version of a comfortable seat where we will seal our practice with three deep releasing breaths in through the nose. Sigh it out through the mouth. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Last time, inhale. Exhale. Thank you so much for choosing to practice with me. I can't speak. Practice with me today. Um, super happy to have you here with me. Like I said at the start, I would be very grateful for any likes, any comments, any subscribes, whatever you fancy doing, I'm here for it. Um, yep, yeah, hopefully I will see you again soon. I can't speak today, guys. I feel like I say that in every class. I can't speak, but yeah, see you later. <laughs>